Let's make it now. Hi guys, so we are coming to make soap. Yes, we are coming to make profitable foamy soap. So this is my light solution over here. Yeah, I've used the uh, hydrometer to gauge this light solution. I've posted the video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the, the, the video is there. How I use a uh, hydrometer to calculate my light solution. It is there. Just check it out and wash it. And watch it if you don't know how to make your light solution for bar soap. Okay. And the other ingredients I'll be using is this. I have soda ash here. I'll be dropping all the measurements that I'll be using here. I have borax. I have soda ash. It's also a filler and a cleaning agent also. I have borax that will be acting as my surfactant. Like it, it makes the soap foamy. Okay. And I have my calcium powder here. So this is it I'll be using. I have my perfume. I'll be using some color. And these are my oils over here. I'll be dropping all measurements then at the end of the video. Alright, so this is my calcium powder that I'll be using for filler. I have it as 300 grams over here. Yes, 300 grams here. And I'm mixing it with the water. Mixing it with the water. Okay, so here is my light solution. I'm going to dissolve my soda ash into my light solution. Yes, I'm doing that because the process I'm using, I don't want uh, much uh, water in my soap. That's why I'm going this step. I'm dissolving the I'll dissolve I did not fetch any other water to dissolve the the soda ash I'm mixing them into the into the light solution and this is my borax I'm doing the same to the borax also So I'll mix it very well. Good. So this is my color. I'm dissolving into the palm kernel oil. This. So this is how the light solution mix with the fillers are looking. Mix with the uh, soda ash, mix with the soda ash and the borax. So, this is how it is looking like. So, this is my perfume. This is uh, one part of the oil I'll be using. So, I'm dissolving the perfume into the oil. So, we'll now mix our oil into our line gradually
I'll drop every measurement down the comment section. Not the comment section. I'll drop every measurement at the end of the video for everybody to get access to. So we'll now add our our calcium powder. So add our color. I want it to be somehow yellow, yellowish. So we've transferred it here because the bucket was full. It was not able to contain. I'm adding more color. The color is not coming for me, but I'm adding some more. I don't want it to be too yellowish either. I want it somehow. so this is our soap now we will now transfer it into the mold Bye. 
So I'll cover it up and allow the saponification process to act fast. Oh, all right so this is the soap we'll allow it by four weeks it will cure yeah i'm not going to sell the soap like i would have shaped the size i'm not i'm not selling this but if i'm about to sell this with the amount of ingredients i use to make it i'm going to get a lot of profit you know so this is normally how the soap in Ghanaian markets look like, like some kind of yellowish. This is the color I was looking for and I got it right. If you know the soap, key soap. So this is how the color is like. And this one, it's, uh, there's a small, it smells so nice, very nice. But I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to gift it to somebody. 
yeah i'm going to give it to somebody after four weeks of curing so subscribe to the channel watch more video on how we make different kind of soap this soap right here they are very very big yes they are big so the, the reason why you should cure your soap is if you look at the soap very well it is cold processed soap so you allow it you put it down for the rest of the line to evaporate from it so that if you use it it will not harm your hand or it will not harm whatever you are using so whatever you are using the soap for so this is like all purpose soap you can use it for anything at all you want to use soap for just allow it to cure for four weeks and all the water everything that are left inside will evaporate 